In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys some high elo elite division gameplay where you're going to be learning some tips that if you implement into your own game, you will become a better FIFA player. I upload every single day with videos helping you guys get better at FIFA. So if you do want to stay up to date and improve as a player, hit that sub button right now and let's get into it. Before we do get into the main part of the video, I just want to show you a page that myself and another content creator, Salonius, run together. It's called Underdog Gaming, a fantastic community dedicated to helping people get better at FIFA. So it's called Underdog Gaming. You can see here we've got different uh, tiers that will cater to whatever needs you desire. Um, and it's just a great place to be. Like The community is absolutely thriving right now. There's new members joining every day. You're going to get tips on how to improve, coaching, depending on the tier. There's just so much for everyone. I'll leave the link in the top line of the description. But for now, let's get into the video. So, getting into some Elite Division gameplay now. And there's just definitely going to be tips that you guys can add into your game from this. It's obviously a very high level of FIFA, especially at this point in the game cycle, uh, when not many people are there. So, the first tip is coming straight up. Um, what you're going to see is the use of the second man press. You can see the little green indicator above Lucio's head there. What this enables you to do is... Use the AI to press the ball and then cut the passing lanes manually yourself. So you can see that I'm using the second man press to go to the guy with the ball. And then with the player that I'm controlling, I can then mark the other passing lane. So you're essentially doing two jobs at once there. Um, you can see the second man press guy ends up winning the ball back. And then we are able to go on a counter attack. We go for an over the, over the top through ball, sorry, um, which are extremely OP. On FIFA 23. Um, we can talk about those later. But they're something that you definitely want to be adding into your game. If you haven't already. Here we're going to see some use of goalkeeper movement. Another very important thing. My opponent does super well. What I do. As soon as he gets into this position. Most people are going to shoot across goal right so with the right thumbstick you click it down um you drag it to where you want the keeper to go i shift him just to the side and it's enough to make the save there and that can just give yourself a lifeline like goals that are a guarantee if you don't move the keeper you can end up saving by doing that so that's another thing that you guys definitely want to add into your arsenal what you see here is i'm gonna trigger a run so i have the ball with salah i make sure the pass i play is an l1 pass to send him running down the line and there's so much you can do just by doing this so as you can see salah is running down the line um and i can just wait and buy my time eventually my opponent's gonna have to commit to something so on this occasion i just wait and wait and wait until salah's completely free and then i'm gonna find him down the line and it's just a win-win because if he marks Salah, I can keep going forward with the guy on the ball. Um, and if he doesn't mark Salah, I can play the ball as I did there. And you can see that we get into a pretty decent position here. Um, we can try and work something down the line. Um, I'm not sure whether anything ends up coming from this, but we play the ball in here. Play the ball across and get very unlucky. Crazy save from his keeper there as well. From corners... This is the way I tend to take mine. So I take them short, um, play it to a guy on the edge and just try and work something in. Um, you can take your time with it. There's lots of different ways you can do corners this year. They are pretty OP. Um, it, it's just the luck of the draw, you know, whether you get a certain animation if you cross the ball in and stuff like that. So this is just going to be some decision making. I win the ball back and we get an option to go on a counter. What a lot of people do is they rush these situations. Um, so you can see here, what I try and do is just buy my time. It's similar to the Salah situation we spoke about earlier, where you're almost waiting for your opponent to make your mind up for you. So here... I wait for him to commit to me and then play the through ball. Um, and then from this position, a ball roll inside. And then a driven pass is very effective from these angles. I probably should have just shot across goal here. But I end up doing a reverse elastico. And that is going to win me the penalty. Which leads on to our next tip, how to take penalties. So you can see the circle around the ball. Basically, all you have to do is wait for that circle um, to be either as small as possible or completely vanished. And then three bars of power. And every single time 
you will be able to just smash the ball into the top corner. Like, even if they dive the right way, it's a guaranteed goal unless they step to one side before diving. A lot of my chance creation seems to come from these out wide positions. So you can see um, I play these chipped through balls down the line and there's just lots of things you can do here. Um, you can see that I'm playing a pass now where my player is actually off the screen. You want to be using the mini map as much as possible. Um, so, you know, your opponent's just never ever going to expect that pass when he can't even see him on the screen either. So you can see here, um, I get the ball into Yaya Torre. And when you're in these out wide positions, you're just looking for the cutbacks in the middle. So you can see I've played a perfectly timed pass there to a guy that's just completely free. And then once you're here, you can either keep on going down the line. And if he commits to you, you'll have a pass forward. Or if he doesn't commit to you and stays with the guy that he thinks you're going to pass to, then you're going to have more space again um, to go towards the goal. So you can see here he committed to the side. Very good defending in the end by him to make the tackle. But on another occasion, we score a goal. Uh, you can see from him there, a chipped through ball. We end up recovering, but it's really, really nice from him. He times it perfectly. Um, what he did is he sent his player on a run. You can see Mbappe's got his arm out. That means it's a manually triggered run. He then passes the ball inside and then just plays the through ball. Uh, that's something that you guys can add into your game as well. Here you're going to see a step over from me. And this is a really good time to use them. So you can see my opponent is pressuring me. You can use the step overs to just shield the ball and accelerate away. Um, so if we go back again there, um, it's the phase of play that you saw a second ago. But watch Vieira closely. So I just get the ball. Step overs and accelerate away. And that is super, super effective. Um, from there, we play a chip through ball over. But he brings his keeper out very well. So here, we are going to win a corner. And I'm going to show you what I do from this one. So we take it short. Um, we draw the guy out. And then we play the pass backwards. Really nice little back heel there. And once you're in the box, you tend to have quite a lot of options. So here... I get it to Mbappe, always from this angle. I'm basically looking to do either an Elastico or a Reverse Elastico. On this occasion, uh, we Elastico outside of the foot shot, which is holding the left trigger while shooting. And then we find the back of the net there. So we'll let that play out again for you. Get into this position. Boom. Find the back of the net. And not much the opponent can do about that. Corners are so OP because you just have so many different varied ways and things you can do from them so at this point our opponent's team pressing that's something you guys will come up against a lot and it's just about taking your time and keeping the ball so you can see here um, we're not panicking we're playing the ball short I switch across to my wing back there and then we're going to go on a little counter attack of ourselves you can see quick like one touch passing uh, decisive movements a great through ball there from this position You've got two options. You can either try and find the cutback or you can go alone. On this occasion, um, I try and wait for as long as I can because if you have a look at the player he's controlling, um, that is very key because with this player here, like if he pulls him up towards the ball, then I've got Janola free at the back post. If he stays there um, with Janola, then that means that I can keep on going with Mbappe nearer to the goal. Um, so on this occasion, he leaves all the space for me. I play the ball across and then we have an easy goal with Yaya Torre. A lot of this stuff is just decision making in key areas. You can see we get the rage quit there. That is going to be the end of the video. If there's anything at all that you guys want to ask me, then please do let me know um, in the comment section below and I'll get back to every single one of you. I appreciate you watching the videos. Um, if you did enjoy it, a like rating is super appreciated. I'll catch you on the next one and peace.